Walker. In court, jurors have been shown surveillance video of Henry Rahans guiding his wife Donna into her room. 30 minutes later, he's seen leaving and throwing something in the laundry bin. Are you aware what was found in that cart? Yes. What? It was Donna's underwear. Physicians and nurses testified about Donna's mental state. She was just in her pleasant little world, her own little world. She was holding a sandwich like this and looking down and just shaking her head. What do I do? What, you know, not saying that, but just looking blankly at the food. Her behavior was declining at that time. There was more evidence of uh, confusion. Dr. John Brady was Donna's primary care physician at the Concord Care Center. During a meeting with Donna's daughters, care center staff, and Mr. Rahans, Dr. Brady signed a document saying that given Donna's cognitive state, she would not be able to consent to sex. She had showed severe cognitive impairment. So along with my clinical uh, visits, uh, nurses' statements, and this all in a combined, that's how I made my determination, that I would, do not feel she would have the mental capacity to consent for sex. Dr. Brady says Henry Rahans was informed that there would be no sexual activity. Just over a week later, Donna's roommate alerted staff to the incident in question. When confronted with the evidence, Henry Rahans eventually told investigators that whatever may have taken place was for his wife's sake. I would guess that if, if, if I did indeed have sex that night, that she asked for it. Okay, and how did she ask for it? What did she say? She says, shall we play a little bit? However, in court on Friday, Rahans denied anything sexual ever happened. Did you have any sexual intimacy at all the uh, evening of May 23rd in the new room with Donna? No, she was not in any mood to, to have anything at all.